In your sketchbook on your page labeled Cylinder City Rough Draft, you're going to add one more building and also shade the buildings that you have drawn. So one way that artists uh, show distance or space in art is by using a different size to show that something is farther away, it looks smaller, something is up close, it looks bigger. Um, so we're going to add one building in the background and this one should be smaller than the other buildings and also go a little farther up on your paper to help it look like it's a little bit further away. So I'm going to go up here. Yes, you are still doing your two dots, drawing your cylinder out the same way. You're going to have a little bit smaller building than you did before. And it's going to be off a little bit further up your paper so it looks like it's more in the background. Okay, the next step we're going to do is add in the horizon line. The horizon line is the line that shows the where the sky and the ground meet. Okay, so it shows which part of the paper is the ground, which part of the paper is the sky. This is just going to be a light line that's drawn across your paper. The biggest thing that you have to make sure is that your horizon line make sure that all the bottoms of your buildings are on the ground side. You're not going to have any floating buildings in this city. I guess, unless you really want to do some cool shading. That could look really neat. But for our purposes, you're probably going to just go above the one building that's furthest up your paper, anywhere beyond that. My biggest suggestion is don't put your horizon line exactly in the middle of your paper that tends to make a rather obvious block on your paper. Okay, so I drew a straight line going across. When I run into a building, I just stop, pick up my pencil, and start the line again on the other side of the building. That just adds a little bit of stability for those ones on the ground and shows where the ground is versus the sky. All right. Last thing you're going to do is actually start shading your buildings and the value scale that we're using here is mainly going to be light or no shading or a medium shading. Um, I would say use like a 3B drawing pencil. They're in the cabinet numbers 5 and 6. Um, the one I'm using right now is a 4B. You're going to choose one side of your buildings and that's going to be the side that you shade the whole time. You're going to have one light source um, coming from either the right or the left side and then that's going to help us with the shading. Okay, so when you do this, you're going to go whichever side it is you choose and you're going to start adding a medium to a dark shading on that side. The most important thing when you are doing this is that the direction your lines are going are that little bit of curved smiley line. No one should be going up and down. Um, no one should be scribbling. The lines should go just the same way that curve was back and forth that way. So it's almost like a little half smiley line 
as you're shading this in. Um, again, we're really only using one value, so you're going for a medium to medium dark on it. The one area where you might need to go a little bit darker is where there's an area that has an overhang. So if you have one that goes from big to little, you're going to need to let me scooch this over, make it a little darker underneath there because there's going to be a shadow that comes down under there. All right, so when I do this area, it's going to be a lot darker right here. And then as it comes down to this part, it's going to go back to my normal kind of medium shading. So this area is going to be extra dark, probably the darkest of any area on this paper. Okay. You need to practice shading all three buildings. Um, when you are done, show it to me and then check before you begin your final paper. All right, make sure you pay attention to the requirements of your final paper, the number of buildings you need, the number of details you need. All of that is outlined in your Cylinder City Learning Guide. All right, when you have this checked off, get a final paper from Ms. Hirschman, and that will go in your table folder when you are done for the day.